Folks, I have found what may be one of the most insane video game and toy stores I have literally ever been in. I'm gonna take you guys through today, do some hunting together with some friendly faces. That's not even one of them. Let's, let's go meet them. First up, you guys better recognize Editor Riff in the flesh doing some hunting with us today. And this is definitely your kind of store because this is not just video games. Yeah. It's toys, like, like, it's like, comics, it's random. Hook, come on. It's just the cool stuff. You know, Toon Sylvania. Nostalgia bit me. You know, I love not it. Just in the game world, it's yes. bit me on every so Number two, right here, you guys might recognize Gabo from Pixel Game Squad, Riff's channel. What'd you get in there? That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That's a full amazing. size That's Stormtrooper board. That's really crazy. Cool. That's I love, really I, cool. dude, the packaging of that, a blister pack for a skate. <laughs> Board? Like what? Yeah. We've got Ricky down here digging in the bins, also from Pixel Game Squad. You find anything cool? I'm looking for some controllers. Okay. That one looks like the stick's a little loosey, loosey goosey on that guy. What do you think, Watto? Your mind tricks don't work on me. Yes. And finally, someone that nobody's heard of. Retro Rick himself, in the middle of a video, no less, which we're shamelessly interrupting. Phoenix Resale has never been nice to me. <laughs> what? One time I went to a flea market and he tripped me and then, and then he kicked me and then left. Dude, hey, shut up, I'm paying you for this, man. All right, this is Rick's first score right here, the figures. These things are, they look almost look like, a, first, look my, my like McDonald's score. toys or something, but I, I've actually never seen these. Those are sweet. So as you guys can see, the whole squad is here. We're all going nuts in this store because of all the crazy stuff, but you know, the first thing that I'm drawn to to is the video game section and also Mike the owner of the store even said oh look at this guy oh yeah get out of here even said that he'll give us all like 25% off on the stuff that we're buying super cool guy so you know I got to take advantage of that discount all right editor riff what are you finding in the video game stack a couple things over here caught my eye I was kind of looking at anything it's time you see a cart that's a different color it's yeah like, you know quattro sports but still man the bootleg, the weird, I mean, these are not gonna inspire you to play video games. Right. But somewhere someone was like, this will make kids wanna play. Right, I love yeah. it. I love the Street Fighter blisters down here. These are pretty sweet. Yeah, they're awesome. But of course, what I've got my eye out for is the stuff that will sell well on Amazon. I like money. So you guys know one thing I'm always on the lookout for, the sealed shovelware. We got a uh, Wii U Cabela's Dangerous Hunt. And also I saw this up here, Phineas and Ferb quest for cool stuff on Wii. Ah, oh, the seal's a little bit, a little bit dinged up there, but we'll see what they go for nonetheless. All right, looks like Cabela's, Priced at 20 only goes for 18, so we'll pass on that. And this one goes for like 25 after fees, but the seal's kind of beat, so we'll pass on that too. All right, what'd Gabo find? What'd you find bro? He's got what a bin. Cool. He's excited hey, about it. Yo. Oh. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you, that, that's actually pretty nice too there, Ricky. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's sweet. That's a sweet little handful right there. Look at, all the, look at these YouTubers. This is disgusting. This is gross. All right, folks, so just scanned a good number of the games on the shelves here. Ended up finding one that we're gonna come away with. 10 bucks for breaking the rules, complete on PS2. Definitely not a bad deal, but I'm actually thinking about buying some stuff here that I almost never buy. So let's go ahead and catch up with the guys at the front counter. All right, so what I'm looking for next, thank you, by the way, to Editor Riff for filming me here. We've got a good number of like high-end sealed stuff in the case here. Uh, we've got like Crash Win Sanity, Nitro Kart, and down here, did you see this? Double Dash on the GameCube for 950. So definitely interested in those. I don't wanna like, I need to check and see like what kind of a deal he could actually do on those. Cause I don't wanna assume that even on the highest end stuff, he can do the same discount. Yeah. But I'm definitely, I'm thinking about it. I just wanted to let you guys in. Oh, mush, a mush. sweet, a sweet Pokemon card case over here. Normally you guys know on this channel, I rarely, oh, sorry about that. No, I rarely, How rude. I rarely look at Pokemon cards really. There's only one series that I collect you and go. it's, Will you stop? <laughs> it's the legendary collection reverse hollow. These ones down here, I don't know if you can see it. Like that Nidoqueen Queen that looks like fireworks. That's the only Pokemon card I collect. So I'm definitely gonna, I can't, I can't see, oh, it's 45. I'm gonna maybe pull the trigger on that, which I pretty much never do, but it's nice because everything I buy today, I have to fit back in my luggage. So I'm looking for the small stuff today. All right, folks, so in the case, they had not one, but two of the legendary reverses, Nidoqueen Queen for 45 and Primate for 20. These things, they get pricey, which is why I don't buy them a ton. But if you're in person, you're getting a discount off of retail, you gotta pull the trigger on this. <gasps> There's another one, a Magneton back there. We may have to do that as well, folks. I'm going crazy. Retro Rick in his natural habitat. Picking up. 
He said it. He said it. Literally getting it for my son. <laughs> my my uh my son is starting a collection. <laughs> like he's like, Daddy, can I have a shelf and make a collection? I was like, Oh, oh there's my, nothing that's better the dream. Than that. I'm like, that's it for me. <laughs> my like, son wants to start a collection. I have arrived. Like, that's like what you dream about for fatherhood, man. How'd I that am, make you feel? I am a good dad. <laughs> Pass it on. I love it. So a lot of you guys probably don't know this about me, but one of my like collections that I never talk about is actually Disney pins, believe it or not. No! And I found this board here that's all $3, which just seems like a really solid deal. I mean, I saw this one. This is like a big pin. Whoops. <laughs> it's the Disneyland Hotel, California. We're in California right now. This would be like the perfect little little thing to commemorate this trip. I'm, I'm buying all kinds of stuff today that I pretty much never do. Okay, I lied, folks. I found a better one. Hi, everybody. Disney's California Adventure for my California Adventure. <laughs> I don't even know who I am anymore. But look at this. I got two Disney pin sets. Like is this even is this even a game hunting video? I'm buying Mickey and Goofy pins at a at a comic store. Like what the but I I love it. I could I have never been happier. All right folks. This is the big one right here. This is the finale. We're looking at the sealed games. Would you mind if I took a look at the ones in the case here? The crashes and the Mario Kart Double Dash. Appreciate it. Wow. Okay, so these are the ones that are part of a set. So I'll have to look those ones up specifically to see like pricing wise, cause the not for resale and part of a set barcodes go for different than the individuals. Cause they're usually not a first print, blah, blah, blah. But this Mario Kart dude. It is inside of a case. Today. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look. I mean, it looks like a pretty nice condition seal. I mean, you gotta be on a purchase like this, you gotta be sure, right? Like you gotta take your time and, and look at it and everything. But once we, once we fully inspect these and everything, I'll let you guys know what the decision is. Big deal. <laughs> All right, folks, so come to a final decision on this. Uh, the crashes, because they are the part of a set version, I'm gonna pass on, but the Mario Kart Double Dash, I was looking at the back, and it's actually the not for resale version, and I was checking specifically on this, and they are going for in the like 950 range, so after discount, that's gonna be a pretty solid deal, and anytime you can find a sealed Double Dash and you're literally working on a GameCube collection, I mean, how can you, how can you pass it up, really? They're being so generous with this discount, we're gonna pull the trigger and fly this all the way back to Kentucky with us. Folks, what I've been loving about this game store is how segmented it is. Like it has literally turtles, then Jurassic Park, then Transformers in different alcoves. Then we've got an entire room of Mario with the Mario Bros movie playing. We've got a yellow Lego room. We've got the room full of four YouTube posers. <laughs> we've got Harry Potter over here. What's over here? Oh, superheroes. I mean, it just, it keeps going. I love the layout of this place. All right, so up first is Ricky here. Dude, you gotta tell me about this vest, man. This is insane. I had to, I had to get it. It's the Game Counselor Sega vest. Yes. So good. I love it. And you got some plushes here too? I got some plushes. I want him to feel broke because tonight we're going to his house and I'm buying some games from him. <laughs> Whether he likes <laughs> trying it or to, not. Trying to clear out the collection. <laughs> and uh, so this is advantageous for me. I'm, I'm oh. circling like a vulture already. All right, I'm up next, folks, checking out here. We've got an eclectic mix of stuff here. We got Disney pins, Pokemon cards, video games, and uh, I couldn't be happier. Also very strategic because it's all small. Look at this. But I have no idea what the total is going to be, so. Uh, we're getting hooked up here big time. Yeah. Very grateful to Amazing Comics. Uh, we got these three for 40 bucks. No, I'll pay them more. Crazy. I'll pay them hey, more. No, 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 no bidding again. This is not a bidding war. It's done. <laughs> um, got this for five. I mean, the great deal on the pin sets too. I'm just, uh, I'm super grateful. So what's the total on it? 779. 779. Wow, great. Compact, wow. easily yeah. transportable. Love it. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys thank us by coming and visiting. Yes, they're the amazing. Awesome, you. look at this crew. Yes. That is a crew right there. Thank you. And they've made, they've made this experience amazing too. Yeah, they're they're have, like, honestly. yeah. Oh, Anthony too, we gotta go Although Anthony yes. drank from my drink. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. He'll never be That's bad. why he was walking around with a straw. He was replacing <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> MB. And folks, before this video closes out, I have a super exciting announcement for you, which is that the GameCube Gambit merch is finally here. This is my first time ever dipping my toes into the clothing arena. The reason that it took so long is that I knew I didn't really wanna do something if it wasn't gonna be really good. But folks, I am really happy with how these designs turned out. I experimented with multiple t-shirt and sweatshirt brands to make sure that I was getting the most comfortable ones, ended up with uh, comfort 
colors and Bella canvas for the sweatshirts and ended up with two really solid designs. Got to add some really fun details like the GameCube hat is in both of them that I found in episode seven at that convention. This one has Super Smash Bros, my favorite GameCube game. They all have this little Phoenix resale branded tag at the bottom and the inside of the hood on the hoodies is a bunch of GameCube silhouettes. I'll have the new shop linked in the description if you are interested, I'll say. They do tend to run, you can tell, a little bit slim, a little bit form fitting. So if you're kind of between sizes, I would size up and they are all printed on demand. So do allow a couple of weeks for shipping on these. Really appreciate you guys who have been asking for them and I hope that you absolutely love the designs as much as I do. Now back to the video. Editor Riff, you got a haul going here? I do, so I got me a Bowser plushie. I love that plush. <laughs> me too. Gauntlet Dark Legacy, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. The reason I bought this though is I just recently got the Zelda Symphony vintage t-shirt at Ooh, my house. So to go with nice this little bundle. is really awesome. Yeah, I love it. A few SNES games, Wizard of Oz, Flashback, great game. Tetris Dr. Mario and an amazing Tatsunoko versus Capcom Wii arcade fight That stick. thing's insane. It really is. Shout Unreal. out Mike. Here's a video of Editor Riff videoing Gabo's Hall. Guys, 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 don't forget I have a channel too. You <laughs> comes, <you> comes <laughs> the big Subscribe to Pickle Game Squad, folks. Yeah, Pickle Game Squad. You know what, Gabo, bro? You oh, guys yeah. are That's you guys sealed. Are so freaking oh. awesome. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go 250, bro. Wow. Wow. Is that sealed? Yeah, sealed that's sealed. Sealed Genesis sealed, game. Bro. Man, you're... <laughs> yeah, that's... Sealed. What did you pick up? You're the last one to check Slimer. out. Slimer. Slimer Look at that mask. mask. That's Look amazing. Look at the X-Men VHS. Love it. Lil Elliot. Lil Elliot. Lil Elliot. Got some uh, NES games. Uncommon. Uncommon. Unlicensed game. All of it, man. A ton of great stuff. Great store. <laughs> wow, folks. What an amazing time. Definitely come out to Awesome Comics if you are in the area. And folks, we give each other a hard time, but on the real, I'm going to put videos over here of Retro Rick and Pixel Game Squad. Check them out if you have not already. Ah, oh, they love me. <laughs> Folks, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all. Oh no! On the flip! Oh, on the flip. Oh, I that was it. <laughs>